Today's video, I'm going to give you the best lockdown coverage in Madden 24, and this is a very important coverage to understand because it really will help counter what I believe to be the best offense in the game, and that is the Bunch Strong Offset. We got a full ebook on Bunch Strong Offset in the Patreon out of the Jets playbook, and we actually have a full Jets ebook that we're continuing to work toward over there as well, adding new stuff every single week. So if you're not in the Patreon yet, it's a great place to get better. We get all, You get access to all of our ebooks, everything, including all of our stuff we're doing defensively as well to help counter how offensive, of course, Madden 24 really is. That being said, I want to explain why this coverage is needed. And we're going to talk about Flood. Flood is, I think, the best play in the game uh, because of how it helps counter the current meta. So defensively, the current meta is to utilize a 30-yard zone drop cloud flat, a 5-yard curl flat, essentially to run some double Mabel. And then what we're going to try to do off of this is we're going to try to essentially play cover two. The problem with this coverage right now in Madden 24 is the deep half zone can get manipulated if it is on the short side. So with this play flood, we're just going to streak our tight end. And what you're going to notice is if I have time in the pocket, that deep half defender is going to be put in conflict. He's not going to be able to consistently play that, um, that deep fade route on the sideline. It's the biggest, biggest challenge in my opinion because now you can really get into manipulating Mabel and Mabel really is the best way we can play defense. So that is uh, the problem. Let's talk about the solution. This is going to be at a dollar. If you want to get the entire dollar ebook, it is in the Patreon as well. And we're going to show you why Cover 3 Cloud is super, super powerful. Okay, so what we want to do defensively is we want to turn auto flip off because we want to be able to control which side we're rolling based off of hash marks, right? If the Cover three, uh, essentially we want, we want to run the cloud flat to the short side of the field. That is the biggest, biggest, biggest thing. We want to run the cloud flat to the short side of the field, okay? So uh, we're going to leave it unflipped. If we were on the left hash, we would flip it, okay? So what we're going to do is we leave it unflipped. We're going to pinch our defense. We are going to back off that cloud flat. We're going to crash our line down, blitz our user. And then really from there, you know, you can kind of do whatever you want with the underneath zones. But this is the basic shell that we're going to be utilizing. Now what you're going to notice is when we use this concept, that outside third defender is going to be able to properly defend this, and you will actually bait people into throwing you interceptions over the top. You can't do this out of certain formations, and, and Dollar is really one of the only formations in the game where you can actually have a true cover three cloud that you can actually be in control of that looks exactly like everything else we're doing defensively. The beauty of this is this is also going to do a really good job of taking away any kind of corner route to the short side of the field. So if they run a corner route to the right, you see that that cloud flat, because we backed him off, he's going to be able to consistently defend that receiving threat. Now, another thing we need to talk about, though, is another popular play in Gun Bunch this year, and it really is every year, is the play verticals. Okay, so we need to kind of deal with that as well, uh, given... Uh, the alignment, the misalignment that Dollar has. So let's talk uh, real quick. I'm actually going to audible over to the actual bunch verticals. And I want to talk about this streak on the left side. Um, for whatever reason, I don't know if this is a patch thing or what, but the third doesn't get destroyed like it would previously when you would press out of Dollar. I'm not sure exactly why, uh, but I'm actually very thankful for that because even if you want to put this guy on a quarter zone, if you put him on an outside quarter, let's say they do a streak route here to the left side, you see here that quarter will play him and uh, he'll be able to take that away. So now what we're able to do is we're able to really, I think, build a better defense specifically for a bunch style or bunch strong style offensive attack that is going to do a better job of basically protecting us against big plays and then the other question that we want to kind of deal with here is how do we stop the tight end wheel? Because the tight end wheel is very important. How do we stop, you know, something like this? If you watch that curl flat wheel take away that quick throw to the circle receiver for the most part. Uh, but then the what's, what's also often uh, going to be left there is going to be this tight end um, on this. If I can find it here. This tight end on this wheel route. So we'll show that real quick. See how the three wreck will go inside. The tight end wheel will be wide open. So how do we counter that? Um, and and really, I think the best way to do it fundamentally, especially if you are playing somebody 
If you're playing somebody that is running bunch strong where the running back is over here on this left-hand side, my recommendation really um, is just to simply go user it yourself. And the reason why is because you can kind of user it at the snap and then kind of bail away from it. I'll explain that. So we're going to hook curl, um, not hook curl, or we're going to hook curl this, uh, this guy on the right. And we're just going to run here at the snap. We'll take away the snap throw, and then we'll kind of bait back to that crosser uh, to be able to take that away. Another thing you could do um, is you could vert hook, or you could leave this hook curl here, and then you could uh, put this dude on a curl flat zone. So give you a little look at what that looks like against this play. And again, provided they run this guy on a crosser, but you see how the hook curl kind of splits inside. He'll take that away pretty much every single time. So cover through cloud really does a lot against bunch to help kind of combat, you know, how good of a formation it really is. And something as simple as just taking this linebacker and manning him up on the running back can be all you need um, or a simple purple, uh, a simple curl flat could be all you need to get more stops. Um, against bunch and the reason why is just because that cloud's going to do a really good job you see how that purple will get over there and then that cloud's going to do a good job of taking away any kind of corner route to the short side of the field the biggest key is that if you are you need to be an auto flip off so that you can control which side that cover three cloud is on because if they are on let's say they're on this hash mark and you're running your cover three cloud to the right they can hit you with this and now you're completely out leveraged to be able to defend even a basic corner route over here to the short side of the field. So you've got to be able to understand your cloud flat has to be on the short side of the field for this defense to properly work. So here we would want to be in a defense that looks like this, even if, okay, real quick, even if they are, their bunches to the wide side, this, this defense right here is how to properly stop them. Um, and the reason why is because this cloud flat is going to play much better to the short side then it's going to play to the wide side. So this is a great little covered shell. And I think truly the best way to defend a lot of what people are going to be trying to do out of gun bunch. So that's cover three cloud for you. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire defensive ebook on the dollar defense, the best defense in Madden historically. And I think the best defense this year, join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.